Hi everyone, let's solve this question. This is gate 1996 electronics branch question. So a circuit, uh, a shift register is given to you, a right shift register is given to you. So basically a 4 bit shift register which shift 1 bit to the right at every clock pulse is initialized to this value. So the initialization is done 1000. Okay. And now the question is saying that, uh, okay, right, basically, <clears throat> right, uh, if, if this is your initial if this is your initial register content, so this is the initial content of the register, then after how many clock pulses, this con this register content will again appear. Okay, so this is what we need to solve. Okay. So let's solve the part A. Okay, before that, let's analyze this. So you can not, you can very easily notice this is a right shift register. The question is saying that this is a right shift register. In every clock pulse, you are shifting the data to the right. Okay, so what this means that so basically if if this is your okay this is your register this is a right shift register a b c d okay now this is a register and in this register what we are doing in every clock pulse what is happening we are shifting the data to the right so this c okay after okay after one clock pulse what will happen so this data a this will be this this data a okay this will be shifted to here this will be shifted here this will be shifted here because this is given that this register is right shift register okay so you can notice this is right shift register now okay what is this data like after every clock pulse what is this data this data that is inserted so what is this data very simple this data is basically you can notice this data is basically the exclusive over of this q0 q2 q3 okay so i can say that what is this data so this data is actually exclusive over of a c d okay so this is your this is the input data okay so what i can say i can say that if your current state if your current state if the register if the current state of the register is a b c d if this is the current content of the register then after one clock pulse okay after one clock pulse what will happen i can say after one clock pulse what will be the content so very easy very easy you can notice this is a right shift register so after one clock pulse what will happen so this this will be a exclusive or c exclusive or d this will be a exclusive or c exclusive or d okay and then this will be as it is okay because this will be as it is so i can say this will be a b c okay so this is what i am trying to say so remember if this is your current register content if this is your current state of the register then after one clock pulse okay after one clock pulse then what will happen the register content will be a exclusive or c exclusive or d so the exclusive or of this and okay these three the exclusive or of these three okay and then you do this you put this as it is a b c okay so this is your next content okay so now the question is saying that if the initial content is one triple zero okay if this is your initial content your initial content is a one triple zero this is the initial content of the register then what will be the next state what will be the next content very simple all you have to do just okay just what you have to do so you can notice that just do exclusive over of these three xor of these three and that is one xor of these three is one and then you put this as it is so that is one zero zero okay then what is the next state the next state will be exclusive or of these three this and this exclusive or of these three that will be one and then you put this as it is one one zero okay so that we will put as it is what the next content what the next state the next state will be exclusive or of these three okay so that will be zero and then what you do then you put this as it is one 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 okay what the next state the next state will be you can notice okay exclusive or of this and this okay so that will be zero and then what you do you put this as it is so that is 0 1 1 okay what is the next state the next state is you you do the exclusive or of these three the exclusive or of these three that is 0 and then what to do you put this as it is 0 0 1 okay so this 0 0 1 you put as it is okay what is the next state the next state will be okay the exclusive or of these three so that will be 1 okay and then what you do then you then you put this as it is 0 0 0 okay so then you put this 0 0 0 you can notice both are same okay so we got the initial state so here what i can say here instead of this what i can say that okay from this the next state will be this okay so from this this is the next state so you can notice after how many clock pulse this is your initial state okay after one clock pulse this is the state after two clock pulse this is the state after three after four after five so after six clock pulse again we will get this state okay so i can say that after six clock pulse we will get this state the same state we will get again after six clock pulse so i can say that if you start in this state if you start in this state then 
after six clock pulse okay so remember you will get to this state okay after six clock pulse after six clock pulse you will again get back to this state okay so i can say that if you start here then how many unique uh, patterns you have generated so i can say that uh, i can say six distinct patterns you generated six distinct patterns generated okay because you can notice if you start from this state if this is your initial register content then you can notice that we will be generating six different okay so this 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 okay so you can notice we are generating six different distinct patterns okay so anyway i can say after six clock pulse this debt this uh, pattern will be reappearing okay so here for this option a the answer will be for this option a the answer will be six okay here the answer will be six okay so this is very simple let's see b what this b is saying to what value the shift register must be initialized so that in the next clock pulse you will get one zero zero one okay so the okay let's see the part b the part b is also quite simple so let's see this okay so the part b is saying that what should be this content basically okay what should be a comma b comma c comma d such that after one clock pulse you will get this okay after one clock pulse after one clock pulse what you should get you should get okay uh, this is the data you should get uh, i can say 1001 okay so this is the data you should get 1001 now i already told you okay this this you can notice that if this is your current state if this is your current state then after one clock pulse after one rising age okay if your flip flop are positive as triggered then i can say that after one rising age of clock what will happen okay after one rising age of the clock what will happen this is going to happen that this will be a xor c xor d and then this will be as it is abc this will be as it is this will be as it is now you can go in the reverse also what you can do you 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 just think in reverse direction so in the reverse direction if you think this abc you are getting as it is so means this 001 should be here so this is your abc okay so if you think in the reverse direction then i can say in the reverse direction what i can say remember in the reverse direction just think in reverse direction so if this is your i can say if this is like this you can think if this is a uh, okay this is your next state if this is your next state if this is your next state okay then what is the previous state okay what is the previous state if the okay just think in reverse direction so this abc you will get here okay this abc you will get here and then this d you will get here okay anyway this is your so this is how you can think in the reverse direction so i let's think in the reverse direction for this 1001 okay 1001 okay so in the reverse direction if you think in the reverse direction from where are you coming okay after one clock pulse you should get this 1001 so this 001 you can put here very simple this 001 you go now what should i put here let's see whether should i put 0 or 1 okay let's see okay you can notice if i put 0 okay if i put a 0 then then that is uh, if i put 0 okay then you can notice that the exclusive or okay uh, the uh, you can notice the exclusive over of these is one okay the exclusive over of these is a one so that is fine okay that is fine can i put okay can i put one here let us see can i put one here if i put one here then exclusive over of these three then what will happen the exclusive over of these three will be zero so it, this should be zero but this is not so i can say that here i should put a zero okay so the only thing is i should put zero okay so this will be the answer answer will be zero zero one zero i can say that if this is your initial situation if this is your initial register content then after one clock pulse after one rising edge of the clock you will get this content okay so this is the answer answer will be zero zero one zero okay so this is your answer for me okay zero zero one zero okay so here for this question answer will be zero zero one zero this is the answer okay so this is how you can uh, solve these questions very easily okay and let me tell you again let me tell you that uh, this i have uh, basically this circuit if you notice okay this is a circuit this register if you notice this is your right shift register okay but this is a special type of right shift register and this is your linear feedback shift register and you can notice one thing that in the gate exam 95 percent of times all okay you can notice one thing this okay uh, 
many times i have told you in the previous lectures also okay you can watch this lecture linear feedback shift register this is very important okay because in the gate exam okay 95 percent of the times this linear feedback shift register comes okay whenever they ask any question from registers then most of the time 95 percent of the times they are asking question from linear feedback shift register remember to solve this question you don't need to know whether this is linear feedback shift register or not you don't need that knowledge okay to solve this question you don't need that knowledge okay but i am just telling you some extra things so that if there is new question if there is some uh, creative question if they ask you then you should be able to do this and this is a very standard thing this is a very standard uh, register this is called linear feedback shift register you can watch this lecture on go classes youtube channel you can watch this lecture and then you can solve all the gate exam questions okay so in this this is the linear feedback shift register and what is the application of this the application of this is this is uh, what is the application of linear shift, uh, feedback shift register this is used for generating random C okay this is used for randomness this is used for randomness or i can say this is used to generate random sequence okay you can notice here you are getting a random sequence here okay so this this linear feedback shift register this is used for generating a random sequence okay so this is how you can solve it okay 